Hi there, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Oh, I just kick something immediately. That's the way to start it off. Okay, so I, uh, I paid $65 for this. I don't usually buy pottery. I'm not an expert. I'm sure you can see my cat scratch. It's pretty impressive, right? It's, yeah, because I tried to give her medicine. You're welcome. All right. This is a ginger jar. Trying to be careful with it. Oh my goodness. That is so much prettier than I thought it was going to be. Look at that. We were already we already passed most of the um, bubble wrap. A little bit of paper on his lid here. Person that shipped this did beautifully. I'm gonna have to put his name in the comments. I forgot to look before I got here. And man, so let's talk about this for a second, okay? This is a Meiji era Satsuma Moriyagi. Uh, decorated ginger jar. So Moriyagi is when they take enamel and they make it into like a 3D shape on top of a uh, pottery. And we can tell it's Satsuma because not only is it early Japanese pottery, but it's got that crackle glaze that's cream colored. It's very typical of Satsuma. Um, This was advertised as Meiji era Satsuma um, ginger jar. Let's see. Do we have any marks on him? Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can really identify him. I don't think it does have any marks. I'm pretty sure I checked the pictures again. Oh no! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, I wish I would have known. I could have looked that up before I did the video. Uh, so in the comments, I'll post up whoever this artist is. Well, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that, a signed piece of Meiji era Satsuma pottery. And is that not the most beautiful decoration you've ever seen? That cream colored crackle glaze, that's a very typical decoration of this type of pottery, Satsuma particularly. Um. <clears throat> it's almost always cream cl colored and even if the uh, object itself isn't cream colored the bottom will typically be cream colored and have that crackle glaze just like that so I'm actually very pleased I mean this is looking very authentic um, it's a lovely little item that bird right there I mean what a good looking bird I, you know, if I see birds and flowers, I'm just the man for that, I guess. I don't know. Look at that purple flower. I didn't even notice him. My wife is going to, she's going to really be into that. Man, but this was originally up for $75, and the guy gave me a little bit of a deal. I paid $65, plus obviously some exorbitant shipping fee. Wow, look at that decoration there. I mean, you see how they actually, so this isn't only Moriyagi. I mean, this is like relief carved pottery. And this whole little band around the top here, I mean, that is super interesting and handsome. And for it to have made it, you know, 100, 150 years with its original lid, not a single crack or chip anywhere on it. Oh my goodness, I am so happy about this. Look at those beautiful decorations. Oh my goodness. And you see how the flowers are raised up. Again, that's Moriyagi, and that's enamel on top of pottery. If you can hear my dogs walking around, I actually have my uh, antique room door open right now because, again, my boy cat's walking around just just super sad that it's raining and cold outside. I mean, he keeps going outside. He keeps trying it like a little trooper, but, but he just hates this whole planet right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm so obsessed with this now. Wow. I absolutely love these decorations, the butterfly, the flowers. I mean, it's not like it's a masterpiece or anything. I mean, it it's really well done. I, I mean, you know, the person who drew this butterfly made an artistic choice to draw it like that. You know, it's not like he couldn't have put little dots or anything in it. I mean, he, he chose to represent a butterfly in that fashion. 
Well, that's not even damaged. That's actually a little raised piece of the uh, of the pottery right there. That's kind of weird. I've never seen anything like that. But this is really like, I think, the second piece of pottery I've ever bought. And I mean, could that be better looking? Oh, there's even a big old mark inside there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, if somebody's watching this and they can just tell me what that means, I mean, I'd be happy to know. Otherwise, I'll have to do some research here and maybe even uh, cheat and go onto Reddit and use the translate service. So, yeah, there's a couple of little, like, weird indents and stuff. Outdents? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> concave and convex. I don't want to talk about it. Isn't that lovely? And you may notice that I've uh, made a little change to the background there. I thought that would be kind of neat. Make it a little more, make it a little more sprucey in here. Man, whatever those peanuts were made out of, it just like stripped off onto the bubble wrap. And uh, it like got all over my hands and stuff. It was really weird. It must be uh, those uh, soluble, soluble, soluble. <laughs> Packing peanuts. <laughs> oh my god. And look at that. Did I do good? How'd I do, everybody? What do you think about our little shelf here now? Oh, wow. I'm trying a new camera app here, and that focus is just spot on. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, okay. There's just something tremendously wrong with this microphone. I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix it. I don't know if it's my headphone jack or what, but something just goes horribly wrong. <laughs> we'll figure it out one day. Hopefully I'll get a Bluetooth microphone or something that I don't have to, uh, I don't have to do all this nonsense. Well, all right, there you have it. A signed Satsuma, uh, Moriyagi decorated Meiji era ginger pot. $65, probably like 85 after shipping and tax and stuff. Super handsome thing. Thank you very much to the seller. I'll make sure I mention them in the comments pretty quick here. And uh, again, just thank you for everybody watching and uh, super neat stuff. I'm so proud to own this stuff. I I will really do my best to keep it safe. I mean, this is, this is an actual little treasure. It's a beautiful thing. I love everybody. Stay safe. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel.